this is something that we have subjected to the state. This is what the, um, that they have suggested for us to do, that we've submitted saying that this is what we need to do and this is what they're giving us the funds for the yeah. next three years. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. Okay. Yeah. But we have heard nothing bad from them. No, so we're good. just submitting it. Oh, we're submitting right. it. Yeah. It looks like it's going to you know, be something that will go through, but that's what we're submitting to them. So these are the projects that we would like to do. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, capital improvement plan. We put um, a report in. We haven't heard back yet what we're going to get or what uh, we've had approved. It hasn't come back yet. So you're waiting for we, to hear we are about the CIP? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. committee makeup is that there has to be a member from the Upton Housing Authority and um, I have been on that board now for 10 years so um, I need to be reappointed and I have to be appointed by this group <laughs> and then sworn in by the town mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you said the community preservation mm -hmm. yes yeah. So, um, Can that be done with a, a motion? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. The motion we appoint her as our representative on the uh, CPA. 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 CPC. Yeah. CPC. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And motion. Okay. The motion is made. I think that uh, we appoint the individuals to the CPA. And you said the name is Rena. Rena Richards. Thank you. Rena Richards. Um, I need you to. Oh. At once, oh, well, once, once it gets yes. all those in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion passed. Thank you. Uh, I need you to send a letter to the town clerk, mm -hmm. if you would, uh, indicating that that, move, that action okay. was taken here, and then I can get a from it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Toilets and shower heads. 
Is yeah. that, that's what this is? We would yeah. have to install Yeah. Right. We, we would have to pay for the funding to have them installed. We so they have, provide yeah. our toilets, but they don't yeah. provide money to have it installed. Right. right. Yeah. Mm. That's cute. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, Typical stadium. Um, <laughs> but I think that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. so, um, they definitely would have to walk across the thing and flush down the toilets, too. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a Low, yeah, the low, 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 yeah, low yeah. flush, yeah, and mm -hmm. you should be put in anything. Yeah, yeah because need in these toilets, no, right? you cannot, no, no. no. So, uh, which is good news, you know, before, um, when uh, the project started, I uh, didn't think we were going to get them. But, uh, so, so this is really good news, so I'm happy about that. So we'll just have to be patient and, you know, wait. And, and with that, we have to have a place to store, when the new toilets come, we have to have a place to store them, and then we have to have a place to store the old toilets. And so mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe we may have to take uh, an apartment offline. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we really don't have any place to store them. So that's something to think about, too. But well, well, it was cheap. I guess it would be easier to do that than to hire a pod, a pod or... Yeah, I don't know. Where will we put it? Well, yeah. that's true. Yeah. So, I don't know. Take them apart each spot, which would be... Yeah. Yeah. It's just the yeah. beginning yeah. stages of it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Well, we'll just, back and forth. we just have to think about yeah. what yeah. we want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think that would be good. <laughs> so. Anyway.
flushable, they know that that is dangerous. That is germs that can cause fatalities. So when I spoke with them, they said, these other type of flowing toilets, you're, okay, you're good to go. You know, because you're asking people to handle things they shouldn't be handling unless they're wearing gloves and they're a nurse or a doctor. You know what I'm talking about without being proved. So it's my understanding these are higher toilets and people like Luella and all those people have a great deal of difficulty. I do sometimes if I don't have my knees strong enough. So 16 inch toilets are not appropriate for here and then how it flushes is why we were given this grant. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and that's why, when you said you didn't know when they were coming, yeah. that was one of my concerns, is yeah. when, when there's going to be construction, I'm praying that we get something in writing ahead of time. Oh, yeah. We know when it's coming. Yeah. They don't roll in here at quarter 7 a.m., start with their compressors and their elect, you know, yeah. their, their guns. Well, we'll know. So, yeah. um, and, and I, I just think, and I've, I've had this conversation numerous times. <coughs> People live here, we'd like to know in advance yeah. so that we're just not surprised about stuff. Obviously, for toilets, we'd be given some heads up. Oh, yeah. But if there's a question yeah. about how to store, how to do, yeah. who's going to install, that is something yeah, that we Betsy had Harper and Lisa Taylor know about. We had discussed that uh, when this subject first came up. Mm -hmm. I think it was last year or the year before last. Mm -hmm. So we had discussed all that. Mm -hmm. But you'll know the point. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, that was one of my questions yeah. that I had listed okay. on that form. What's next? We are the John. John. Yes. All right. Well, um, <laughs> basically, we just we just want uh, our funding, you know, and. Uh, I know that uh, uh, Betty answered me and saying that she was going to talk about calendar. We were going to sit down, uh, Maggie and I were in our office. We were going to talk about it by the end of December. Uh, if you got all the rules, then the state regulation, you know it's in there. So we're really excited. So we, 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 asked, we start up a, a startup budget that brought it up to you know, 250. So we, would, we really need that as soon as possible. And our projected budget, well, I know a lot of it is, is you know, for those uh, meetings uh, that the state has a couple of times a year. Mm -hmm. And I know those are, those are expensive, but that's we, we like to get that eventually because, you know, not, not yeah. all four of us want to go, but maybe one of us mm -hmm. will go to at least one of them. So basically, that's that's uh, that's what we're asking for because uh, we get tired of it. Yeah. I talked to Dan today because he was supposed to come in the end of December yeah. and wasn't able to make it. He said that probably this Friday, you would need to provide me something that shows that you have opened up a bank account and the name of the bank account that the association is on it, a number, and then you provide the budget to me that you've prepared for the year, and then I can write the check out to the association and have it deposited into the account. Would you tell us what... Uh, what that sounds fair. That's, yeah. Would you tell us what... Uh, is there a uh, precedent for that, uh, Betty? Is there a, uh, I'm assuming that state you probably, law? this is what the accountant said. I'm assuming that you have like a bank account. We were waiting for the money to open bank, bank account. account. He said I have to have the bank account. Oh. I know, and it does make sense, right. but he said that you have to have the bank account yeah. open yeah. first before Stop. I can write the check. Yeah, because he said he doesn't want me writing out the check and putting it in the system and stuff like that if there is no account yeah. actually I open. I would so you say you bought a number, Betty? Your bank account number that would say oh, okay. that would say so cultural tax association tax bank. ID number. I get that. No. I don't know. It's like I can you question the check. No, we already checked so, into it. We don't okay. need the tax. Hang on for one minute. It's like yes, if you're you're opening, say, a personal checking account, you don't put the money in the bank before you get your papers, and and they they give you an account number because. They, they don't have an account for you until you make out those papers. What she's saying is, you need to go to the bank, get the papers, fill out the association, who is going to be on the checking account, who can sign those checks, and then we give you the check to put in. You just, if, if you don't have an account, where is the check going to go? Yeah. That, that's it what she sense. means. Yeah. 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 yeah, so that is reasonable to yeah. me. Uh, 
Yes, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Also attached um, with that um, booklet that we gave you, there's yeah. also yeah. Uh, the budget in there. Yeah, but you, you still have to have the account first. You yeah. have oh, to I understand that. Okay. I understand Well, correct. when you do that, then you can get your money. Yeah. But yeah. if you're going to say, I need a check for so much, but you don't have an account to put it in, so you need to, you need to really do that first. Yeah.
we can't not impart there unless Debbie goes and gets her placard or unless Donna gets a placard. So it's a handicapped spot that no one can ever park in because we don't have placards. Can that just be pulled up until there is someone who needs it? And that was on my list. My understanding, excuse me, my understanding, she just, she just explained that. That Dean's going to take it down and put it at the end of the year. That's why I asked the question again. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Yes. The reason that, that we, the way we proposed it was that Linda would move beside her apartment. Betty would move beside Linda. You brought up the point. Linda, uh, Betty is only here 15 hours out of 168 hours in a week. We're not taking Betty's parking spot, per se, away from Betty. We're making an extra parking spot there bringing up a handicapped spot down below and opening up a regular spot up above so it's beneficial to everybody. But it's not because where does Dean, Dean, Dean park? parked over here nine times out of ten he parks in front of the building on the bridge. Yeah, he he does nine times out of ten. Yeah. Well, that's well, that's that's a lot of times he's yeah. gone yeah. to the yeah. hardware yeah. store and there's very heavy stuff in the back of things like the soft yeah. mesh, the salt and everything else that he just for the winter. But Dean can park it in the hill too. I mean, what difference does it make where? Yeah. What, what he, he we are the residents? Linda, did you want to say something before you left? No. We're the residents, so my feeling is that the residents should be like priority as far as the parking issue goes. Yeah, this is yep. for residents. How do we? There are enough for residents. Mm -hmm. No, they're not. No. Yes, yes right. there is a spot. We can only I'm allow, not, this is the way that it goes. Again. I have to turn people away trying. because of not having enough spots. Okay? We have however many 24 spots mm -hmm. here. So if they're all filled, and the next, next application that I go for, the person has a vehicle on it, I have to turn them away and go to somebody who does not have a vehicle. So as of right now, and yes. Since I've been here, there's always been enough spots for tenants. Even if we open up three or four more spots, it's still not going to give everybody here a spot to have a visitor or a home health aide. But I'm just saying because we have 40 units here, so right. we would need over 40 spots right. before anybody would be able to have a spot to have somebody come visit them. Oh, uh, them. No, I fully understand. Right. Yeah, I really but fully as far understand as, that. As far as those two there, like I was saying before, in an emergency, Dean needs people to get in there. The town Why? nurse comes Why? in here. Why the the town nurse come. When was the last time the town nurse She comes here every day. She comes here. Yeah, yeah, she's here all the time. Is she there every night? Shouldn't the hill walk over here? Is she handicapped? There's no spot there. This yeah, there's 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 there. But like spots I said, we're going to have we have enough handicapped parking spots. No, we don't because there's two it's people that I know of right off the top of my head. That, yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, have we have one spot up back that's got a no And it's got it. somebody that is in the A building mm -hmm. or in the B building. Mm -hmm. That is handicapped, mm -hmm. that has had surgery, mm -hmm. or even in the C, C building, as far as that goes, they're in the front buildings. They should be in the bottom handicapped parking spots. Not necessarily. The people yeah. that are in the B building that well, have no a specific handicap, handicap that have, have come to me with yes, their doctor's notes. Two. She's got one. They, they three at the front. Is but the the I know two yeah. people right now yeah. that, yeah. 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 that need the parking. But have the they all all I have three tenants in the B building who I have I'm talking about the A and the B yes. building. I'm not talking about just one building. I'm talking about both buildings. And I, right off the top of my head, I can name one in the A building. I can name one in the C building. I think that it has a placard and there's not a spot there. Yes. Well, they haven't come to me and said anything. Oh, yes, they have. That they have yes. not. Ha I have somebody in the G building that keeps requesting a specific spot, but in the all the ones that have given me a placard, Dean has gone out there and put a handicap sign for that person, and that is why. Like I was saying, if we have 10 people that have a handicap placard, we have to have 10 handicap signs out there. We don't have to have any more. We don't have any less. Okay. Um, Karen wants to say something. She's had her hand raised for quite a while. Yes, when I moved in, um, um, I 
some couple of the tenants had told me I could, that somebody was not going to be using a certain spot and it'd be a nice spot for me. It was not a designated spot, but I usually parked there. Well, my grandson was going into the service and he needed a car for a couple of weeks and my son, his father, was working on my car. I didn't know I had to get permission to tell Betty that my car would be gone for two weeks. And when I came back, she had designated it to Linda Jones, saying that, um, and I didn't know this until after the weekend, when Linda Jones came to my door to tell me to move my car out of her spot. I had no clue what she was talking about. And then she came again, and I called the police over, and I showed him my paperwork. And I says, I don't understand why she says it's her spot. Nobody has an assigned spot. So now, because of all of this going on, I noticed that she has a slow sign in, a slow sign in front of her apartment. Stick, stick with the parking, the parking. And I also want to be able to say, I'm up on a hill. Betty does not know my health record. I didn't know, I presented two or three letters from doctors about me, and it's not in her business to know who is sicker than the other. I'm sorry, without my medication, I don't walk. That's the way it is. And I put on, a, I don't tell everybody because that's my personal health. She says, well, I don't see anything wrong with you. Well, you know what? I don't see anything wrong with her when she was shoveling last winter all around here. I, and when I did, to, did some shoveling, I could not lift more than 20 pounds, and I made sure I didn't. And now she's telling me I can go, I can park anywhere but in Linda's and Rachel's spot that were reserved, and the three in the front, they are reserved. Now I'm walking here all the way down up the hill to park, and I think it's very, very, very misjudgmental and very disrespectful because Betty came in the following, after the weekend, Monday or Tuesday, I received a letter. Because my grandson had my car, I didn't go and say, well, my son's going to work on it too. And, um, well, I don't understand the comprehension of why I can't park down the hill closer where I was supposed to with the doctor's notes. I did not know that I wasn't aware there were paperwork that you had to fill out, but my other doctor's notes were sufficient when I moved in here. And now I'm way up on a hill, I'm on a breather thing that I have to use. And I exhaust easy, and I'm just saying that I don't think it was fair, because I've seen her shovel, she says, oh, I shovel the front of my car. No. People saw her last year shoveling all around okay. here. Well, and I don't get it. And you were trimming bushes. I and was not trimming, trimming many bushes. bushes. We're talking about parking, please. We can't get trimming bushes. No, no, no. Wait, 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 calm down, calm down. We can't really get into personal issues. And this seems to me like a personality conflict here. So you need to stop. Okay. No, we are talking about parking. parking. That's right. The police were at my house. But you're talking about parking. Let's continue with the parking issue. Yes. yes. And that's it. I wasn't notified. Okay. And okay. now she's at my house. Okay. 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 Yeah, we okay. understand that talk. part because, you know, it, it, we keep revisiting, revisiting, revisiting. There has always been a parking problem here. I don't know for how many years. I think Allie Mackey's coming out again. A whole lot of people and engineers are coming back out again. They are. They should be coming. Yeah. yeah. They are coming. Yeah, they are. So they should, they should try to resolve something. You know, so Lord knows we've had a back and forth and back and forth. You know. The only so. reason Rachel has an assigned parking lot is she hired an attorney. That's why Rachel has it on that sign. She got an attorney, and that created, she hired it herself. Her daughter didn't do anything about it. She got an attorney, and all of a sudden, Rachel has a spot, and she's turned 92. Yeah. All right? Well, I don't know anything about that because, you see, the board, you have to understand, the board is not allowed to know personal business 
of any money in here. We cannot, I, I don't know your personal business. I don't know what you pay for rent. I don't know anything like that. I'm not supposed to know that. Only the director and yourself know that. If you need something, you should, you know, go to the director and ask. Make a note, send a letter, do something. It doesn't have anything to do with me. I, I, my hands are tied. We, the board, as a whole, only do policies. Do you understand? Policies. And, and people have to take care of themselves and their issues. Only their issues. You are not allowed to know what somebody else is doing. You're not allowed to know what, you know, somebody comes and says, oh, Karen, you, you know, says you cannot do that. Stop, stop, stop. Wrong. Stop. No, no, Karen. Yeah. So in other words, just to clarify so we can move on and become yes. looking at yes. the time, Linda McDonald just walked in. But what I want to say I is if I understand, you are telling Maggie that it is what it is, and there will be no changes as far as people who are impaired getting closer to their apartment. That's what I heard a minute ago. Can yeah, we agree well, I, that that's what people heard? What I'm saying is, Betty stays where she is. She's there 15 hours a week. Everybody else can park just the way they've been parking. I don't, you know, I don't see that that's a, that's a problem. There is a big problem because I'm always afraid to move down if it's empty because I'm afraid my car will be towed. It's, and it says that they will tow the car sometimes and I'm afraid that they will. If I'm not parked in a decent spot that they're going to tow me. So I do not therefore park over at Betty's. Um, I was told by Betty that I look perfectly healthy to her. I know. Don't say it because I have proof of otherwise. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Don't say it. I have proof of all this. No. Okay. I don't mind. So all right. Okay. Yeah. Then I would like to park down the bottom of the hill. Out of respect, there's the three spaces that are reserved out here. I would never take them. I was told by Betty I can park anywhere else except in Linda Jones and Rachel's in the three in the front. Now I'm walking all the way down from Dr. Donald's path, way down here, all the way up, all the way up on the hill. Everybody else is too down. I have a Jessica Barfield. I don't complain. Well, I'm complaining because well, I don't so think it spots. was fair the way she told but there's me. But there's only so many spots. Well, That's right. There's got to be more. Well, there's not. Well, you're not, not on an inhaler. Can we just yes, I am. Well, well I'm no, sorry. Yes, I, I can't even disappear. I can't even disappear. Don't tell me. Yes, we're going on surgeries. And some people do all those at my house. Well, I'm no. sorry. There's other, okay, no, no, no. other allowances around here. I'm not sorry. Sorry. No. I don't get this. If you look at the second we don't have a state regs. One of the things that it says here is uh, consultation between the Upton Housing Authority and the tenant organization. And what it says is, whenever an LHA proposes to adopt or amend a rule or policy which affects the rights, the status, the duties, or welfare of the residents, uh, or to request a waiver of regulatory requirements affecting the rights, status, duties, or welfare, the LHA shall first seek the tenant organization's advice mm -hmm. and include the proposal as an agenda item for discussion at a meeting. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, <clears throat> you know, when a, po a parking policy comes out, yeah. I mean, we're hearing from all our constituents, the tenants that mm -hmm. live here, or a lot of them anyway. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what we're saying is that at some point, we believe that we should have some, you know, interaction with with the yeah, board. Yeah, I, I understand exactly what you're saying, but what I'm saying now is they're going to revisit the whole thing all over again. Ali Mackey, all the engineers are coming back out, and you know, go through that whole thing, see what we can do to improve the parking. That's what I'm involved. saying. Yeah, like we were hoping to have some parking issues solved before the spring. I've been told that some things may have to wait till the spring. We're talking about a reasonable um, 
This is a request for reasonable accommodations and modifications. Mm -hmm. Lisa Taylor sent this to me. People fill it out. Uh, uh, physicians fill it out. And so we're talking about people that have an impairment. And I believe that what Benny is referring to is called a memorandum of understanding. Mm -hmm. And that means that we do all sit down with management, either Betty or you can choose someone on your board, mm -hmm. and that we get to talk about reasonable ways to decide the policies. It's called the MOU. And we need that to get into place because we have been recognized as a tenant association and that is what Benny is talking about, the state regs, and here's how it works. Otherwise, there is no tenant association. We have to start following these state guidelines, all right? So that's what we're talking about. She sent this to me. Linda Kine printed it out, and we have about four people that need to fill this out urgently, all right? And I say that because we also have received information that we're going to finally get this building ADA approved. All right? They're going to roll in here. They're going to fix the stairs. They're going to be putting up ramps. And they're aware that this building is not accessible for handicapped people. You have Scott, who's picking up his sister, who's wheelchair bound, and right, bringing him yes. here for his 75th birthday party for Eileen. He did the same thing it on Christmas Day. It's we're the same issue, packing. Maggie. We're, we're talking about abilities and handicaps. We're talking about packing right well, now. Well, I think we're moving on to these other issues. That's true. Yeah. No, okay. we haven't moved on to these other issues, Pam, because in our communication with the Epton Housing Board, we requested them to bring this up before they took a vote to close. I, yeah. to bring this up, to vote on it before they close their meeting. We have been in constant communication with Betty and Millie on quite a few issues. We're taking them one step at a time to make sure that they're taken care of in a proper manner that everybody can agree on that's not causing any arguments between anybody. We have a lot of the things that you presented to them are things that we have brought up and started discussions on before, things that we've been working on all right along. Do you have an MOU? Excuse me, excuse me. Yes. I'm not done yet. No, we don't have the MOU yet. We are still working on the MOU. Everybody is aware of that. If you have an issue and you have something that you need to be done or discussed, I truly feel that you should be coming. We've invited you twice and you refuse to meet with us. We would like to meet with anybody who have left our phone numbers up there so that if somebody has an issue, they can come to us, we can handle it by using the state ways, getting it taken care of, without 15 people talking and arguing and, and, and disguising what the, the problem and the issue is. Maggie, I need to say that Lisa Taylor is aware of a whole lot of things going on, and she knows that I was told to never call her again. She's not very happy about that, and that was in a public meeting. Well, you know, what so I'm all I'm saying about is, this. she said she knows what happened this morning, even, and that I don't doubt you even that know. Morning. Well, something pretty big, but all I'm saying is, things are happening, and they are moving forward. I'm pleased that you're working on an MOU. We need to get this going. This item that I gave people are pending issues that are never going to get resolved until people address them over and over again. So we don't ask me if I, you know. The next. You know, excuse me, okay? Yeah. A memorandum of understanding is only necessary if we cannot communicate with them. You are undermining the CRTA Tenant Association, all right? You know what? We have tried I'm not. to talk. We, fine. We have talked to you, we have tried to talk to you, Pamela, and you are undermining us. Okay, the gossip has to stop. This and I'm the president gossip. of the Tenant Association, and I'm asking you to stop it. Because memorandum is that you can't get through them, and you put in your two cents in. I do not care about what Lisa Taylor tells you, but I do care about what you tell other tenants here. Okay? I'm doing what the manager specialist tells me to do, And John. I'm telling you what you should do. 
All right? I don't think because Jack Cooper will hear from me today or okay. tomorrow. Well, good. I call him all the time. Go ahead. Oh, okay. yeah, he loves to hear from you. He just respect you because you're senior and you're living here and whatever problem no, you have. Yes, you have. told us you're going to handle it. No, thank you. I got somebody to take care of it. We offer you our help and you don't want it. Excuse me, because John, you don't have a grievance panel person and I do. All right? That's fine because okay. you say you're going to have your own person. That's fine. I'll take new grievance. New grievance will take care of it. Excuse me, John. Um, I found no, out no, about Jack Cooper. Um, last year when I started having issues. This is issues we should have. I don't want to hear about that. Okay, I don't want to hear about the same or nothing. He's I want to hear about the same or nothing. For a question. Yeah, fine, fine. Regarding the person's hand, yeah. okay? Yeah. We, know, we know all about the parking issues, yes. We've tried to work on them, we'll try. What, Alan Mack is coming in, engineers are coming in, we're trying to do the best we can. You know, nobody on this board is paid, by the way. This is all volunteer, you know, and it's a very difficult job. So with that being said, you know, you need to just calm down, you know, please. So I'm, I'm just with the requesting that you people you. take your vote on and the packing and then we, we have somebody coming out on Wednesday morning. Okay. Allie Mackey okay. and Simone are coming out on Wednesday, and we're going to revisit, like she said, the same situation. I honestly May don't I feel that anything is going to change because is, we haven't, I mean, the property is, hasn't grown. Is, is that now? the same tree engineer that you had out here before to look at the property? They've been out here a number of times. Because we requested to um, sue Glassman, Sarah Glassman, Sarah Glassman. Mm -hmm. um, that she has an engineer from housing that was going to be coming out I believe it was in the spring, but I'm not 100% I don't know. Sure. I just know that I was called and told. You know, I'd do anything just to, you know, to have more parking spaces. I've, I've tried myself before. Yeah. You know, I've, I've done everything. You, know, okay? you don't have the land. Thank we can. But at least we can. I think you would be used to the conversation spaces that are out there. If it could get repaid in the big gullies on either side, taken care of, and get the markings. That's up in the back? Yes. That's not even our property. We know that. Okay. We're going so to Allie's yeah. concerned with the fact, too, that we could be opening a whole new can of worms. And you yeah, could kick that. And they could take that property. What they no, he already said he Well, he well I talked to no him problems. today. I, I, I talked to him today. Yeah. I'm the director here. Yeah. 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 I have the conversations with them. So don't we, because yeah. as a tenant association, Allie, we have the right to do that as well. you spoke with Allie. Yeah. The project manager, yes, you spoke yeah. with Allie. No. Matt. Okay. No. I spoke with him today. Yeah. Oh, he my is own. concerned. Yeah. They're coming out to look at the property. But he is concerned, because that is not our property up there. If they were to get wind of it, that we're having a big problem here over this, they themselves could say, we don't want us up here. And it would really make it worse. They won't. So let, let them do their job. They're coming out Wednesday. Let them look. Let them. They're the engineers. They know what they're looking for. Well, may I say something? I think until then, I understand that I don't drive. Uh, from walking the dog and looking at the way people park between the lines. The first thing starts that everybody park like you do within the lines. Uh, my wife was a nut about that. But this little space over here, get close to the line here, pretty soon somebody's out with half the parking space. Nobody wants to park near your truck because of the way you park at night. Long ways, this way. So everybody respect parking spaces, okay? Let's, let's start there. These people are going to do that. Y'all can do what you want to do. But you can't produce more, no more land, and you don't want to stir up nothing, honestly. Yeah. Just park with, do what you can, and park within the middle line. We have right enough there. spots right there. And you have enough spots for yeah, that. There is enough spots. We have enough spots for the amount of tenants yeah. that are here, so everybody, everybody parks. You know, it's just spot. honorably, but somebody okay. wants to be an anal about it and slide over and just yeah. screw it all up. I'm sorry. Not take up too and I've noticed this. So, someone's coming 
So I'd like to just say one thing in terms of from the meeting on November 18th. Is that my um, It says who on the housing board is or was to talk to the town about getting some land annexed behind the D in the C buildings. I brought that up, and that is because when they walked through here, they were concerned about dead trees and mold on the building, and that's there was a possibility of adding parking back up that way. And so um, Lisa Taylor had said, why don't you bring that up, Pamela, and find out how people are coming on getting town property that then becomes housing authority property. And that's all that to that. Yeah. It's yeah. extremely yeah. expensive. Yeah. 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 It's, it is. It is. Okay. It's town property, property, but it's solid ledge. That's, that's the difficulty. Okay. Yeah, they would have to. Do I know, it. but they know oh, what they're they doing. Oh, this yeah. is an option that they asked about and saw. Okay. I'm just calling that to people's attention. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, the mailboxes are in the buildings upstairs, too. They're in the buildings yeah. up there. Down here, there's all ice. Um, and even mailboxes. Oh, the and they don't put, they didn't solve when they were solved. Mm -hmm. So I went to put something in there to mail this morning, and they hadn't been solved. Yeah. Well, and the um, mailboxes are up in the back of those buildings, but I'm wondering why couldn't we have some of the front? like in other housing places, cleared out and let us park there and take the sidewalk from the men's club and plant those flowers around here, around the building. Which that's town park. That's town park. It's, 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 it's town, but it might be a better way of getting a little bit more parking. Mm -hmm. yes, is that sidewalk. And then that, and then you can't, you can't take the public sidewalk. And if we could go like that, yeah, they have, they have, they have, have to take all that. All that. Yeah. It's going to be ripped out pretty soon when they put construction. And I noticed that, that um, up. take those, take that up and make parking this way or this way in the front and there'll be more spots. Well, that, that really is a, a function of that whole project, that yeah. TIP project. I mean, it's not anything those. that we can. Okay. But we could even, if we had to put them in the hole, make a U.E. and go around and out by this way here. And um, if we had to, well, if we went in this way, <coughs> then right this way, way, and we can go up and around and yeah. we can and come down yeah. and get rid of the double stairs. This way, uh, in the, instead of the double stairs, make it a safe way sidewalk going up, also in the room. I, I just want to say the parking problem is so bad that as of February 1st, now they expect people to not have curbside pickup, and they're going to walk from this end of the building, sit on a cold bench over here, which is what the Council of Aging just decided. We all got the notices. So they're expecting people to no longer get picked up at their door, handicapped or whatever, come over here, sit in the bench, wait outside for that bus that's going to take them to the doctor's or the shopping trip. And we all were notified Two people went, and myself, out of the 40 people to the Council of Aging, and it was already decided because of an accident this year and last year. No, boom. No. We're three, no longer. I have it in writing. And, 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 and they, they decided and that that's the way it is, and, and, the and the that also DHCD knows that we're not stuck yeah. with this situation. Mm -hmm. And it's really not there. It was not because because they there was, a, a, there was a two times that they came to pick up um, clients or tenants, mm -hmm. residents, whatever you want to call them, to take them to appointments. Mm -hmm. I can attest to it twice. Mm -hmm. uh, we hit the side of the building, scraped the side of the building, very minimally, but we scraped it anyway. The next time, the van driver had to get out and move the saw horses for Dunkin' Donuts over a little bit so he could get around the corner mm -hmm. and then get out of the van again and move the Is that because like somebody had a car parked at the very end? Yes. Because yes. that's what I was yes. told. Yes. 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 Because somebody had their company yes. or somebody. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So it, mm -hmm. that, those are very legitimate right. issues they that, that Jan and Jess were very, very concerned yeah. about and that the, the Council on Aging Board was very concerned about. 
that van is utilized to its mm -hmm. utmost maximum mm -hmm. potential. And, who's, uh, and, and just let me finish, Go ahead. please. And also, when this first came up, we kind of sat down and said, gee, who from D, C, B and D use the van? It's Richard on occasion. It is his wife once maybe every four or five months. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two people that we know of who need yeah. two buildings that ever use. Beck is never going to use that van camp. She has been sitting out here a couple of times. Good, that's you wonderful. can't assume, uh, this is not about mm -hmm. who's living here at this time. You need to assume that anybody old, anybody impaired, you know, you, you can't just say, well, right now, nobody's dumping on down that way. This is a facility that takes care of each other. But as a community right magnet. now, until something else better can be done, they this is the simplest notice. solution that they could come up with. Mm -hmm. We agree to it because it makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, but there were also, excuse me, there was also a car parked out there visiting somebody and hit the car. It was business. We're talking thousands of dollars of insurance points and money matters to people. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about cars also parking out there, he couldn't get to either. People yeah. should be having visitors in their house park elsewhere. So we're, then we're back to where no visitors can be, where daughters so can't the park. Street. I'm they're going to get towed, Debbie. No, they're going to get towed. They're not going to get towed. Oh, 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 okay. okay. All right, so right. whoever had the visitor caused the problem with the bus then, right? They did. Mm -hmm. Alright, is it you two? We park down there all the time for hours? No, we're not going there because we're uh, I, I just heard. I thought there was one. This now was here's three accidents. Who took banana bread to Bet, who is shut in and has health issues, and then the van just crunched the heck out of her. Okay? Uh, so we, that's, she, no, not that's what happened. Other no. vehicles involved, right? Exactly. Well, not just crunch her vehicle. Number one, the vehicle was packed in an illegal spot that's where it didn't it belong. Oh. Wait a minute. We have just everybody has no parking on this side except in front of her area where it says well, and she can park there. And she Listen can park in there with Betty. Listen to me. Give me a break on that. That's not what we're talking about right now. I'm just saying. But we are talking to about them. It was back to the council on aging that this was the best yeah. resolution yeah. for the problem at this time. It is. That's yes. all we're saying. Okay, I'm sorry. That's it. Okay. I, I have one last question. Why are, the tenant, why are the tenant only signs down? Why were they taken off? The tenant only signs were removed. When I asked Dean, he said, I do what I told. So why are there no longer because tenant only signs? We all signs? both felt that we only need to have the signs up for the handicapped, that we don't need to have a thousand signs all over the place. That it doesn't look right, and people don't right. Mm -hmm. You know where the tenants can park, mm -hmm. and you know where the handicapped can park. So when a doctor time. comes and says, "Where do I park?" A I doctor? said, "Sir, park anywhere you want." No, because there He's is a no doctor. I had one that came. They, they show up here. They right. don't have doctor parking spots there. They yeah. have resident no. parking no. spots. Where no. you don't. don't. I, but, um, until they come on Wednesday, this yeah. is really just this is just a lot of us. Yes, why don't we just move on? Yes. Okay. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, do you have anything else? Well, there are times when I am in my car and I go right up on my lawn. I am mixed, but when I'm done, I'm going to try and get things in. I go get in the car and I go right up on my lawn. We all do that. Everybody does 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 that. I have two people, uh -huh. I said they were coming tonight, and the grievance has to go forward. And Lisa said, why is this going forward? And I said, we're working on the grievance panel. Has management, excuse me, Maggie, I'm talking. Has management come up with a neutral thing? You have, you have um, Frank and Emilio, all right? 
I've got a man from Minden, I've got another woman that's coming down from um, Milford. Has, have you people come up with this neutral person, then when we can decide, we have five people we have to find, two alternates, and I want to know if Betty has come up with an answer to who would be the third member. Okay. First of all, if it has something to do with your personal finances, okay, we cannot discuss that. No, but you need to set up a panel, Millie. It's a panel yeah. that gets to look at the personal finances. Right. But okay. I'm not allowed to know your personal finances. I understand that. That's not what I'm asking. So, okay. So you know that, and you know the board cannot do that. So we have our grievance person. That's so right. now we need to have another one. And right. then you need to have one. I, which has happened. But you guys... Did you we, just get yours? We, yes. I've been on the phone with people yesterday and today. The issue is... <laughs> It takes a while for you guys to submit a name. Is there a problem, Betty? Do you want to say something? No, she's she's talking. Yeah, I know what she. Well, I, I thought it was one person at a time talking here. All right, so. Okay, I'm listening. Are you listening, Billy? Okay, so. Okay, I'm trying to focus on you, but I just other people need to be quiet. All right, so you come up with a person. Two or three, five, six names, I don't care. Mm -hmm. This association comes up with two, three, four names, and there's a back and forth on how it's going to work. Yeah. And this panel needs to move forward. There's a timing situation, and when Lisa says, where are we at, I'm going like, we're at, still trying to find this panel. And she said, let's get this panel going. Yeah, and, and you just got yours, you just got your person, and we've had ours for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So now we need to have uh, a neutral person. That's right. And, and the association needs one. No. No. The association has no. already it? stated, and Betty has the letter that we gave to her, oh. that we had talked with um, two or three people in Boston, mm -hmm. that we felt that Pamela's grievance was was started before we were recognized. Okay. All right. Therefore, I, I, we as the association okay. have nothing to do. Who said that to you? Because when I have spoken to Lisa, mm -hmm. Lisa tells me different. So I'll be told by Jack Cooper and Sarah Glassman. Okay. Okay. That's because so I'm going to need to call them. Okay. okay. It has to do with them not having to. to they didn't need Excuse me. You yeah. got angry when somebody was talking when you were talking. Yeah. I'm trying to hear what Betty is saying. When I've talked with Lisa, she has said that the association, as far as she knows, is supposed to recognize it, even though there was like a few different yeah. days and she was going to be getting back to me. We have been, between the holidays and oh, yeah. a lot yeah. of nonsense yeah. going on here, yeah. um, you know, yeah. a lot of things to do. Why don't, why she don't had said to me, find out, yeah, she wasn't aware she was going to find out. I can give you what uh, John can give you, Jack Cooper's phone number, yes. I'm sure you have said. Yeah. Yes. And um, if, it's, if it is a case that we need to set up a grievance yeah. panel, mm -hmm. we yeah. already have people in line for this panel. Okay. Okay. Because it does make sense Thank you. when you think about it. Okay. Yeah. We do we have people in line for the, the, the grievance panel. You know, we will hold them up. I have a point of clarification about that. Mm -hmm. The reason that Jack Cooper said to me, Pamela, you go with who you have, is I had Judy Blanchard. These officers wanted to check her credentials, and it held everything up. Judy no longer is going to do it. Another person or two are going to do it. And the grievance panel is for any dispute mm -hmm. that goes on between management and the association. Mm -hmm. So this is just the first grievance was my rent increment, which I clearly know what's going on. The other grievances or disputes are right behind it. And afterwards, it frees up the association. And when somebody says, I have an issue or a problem or a question, you just say, go talk to the grievance person. So that is the purpose of the tenant association. And John remembers when he first said, we don't need agreements, and then they said, oh yes, there's no point in having an association if you don't have a way to settle your disputes or any issues that come yeah. up. And so we agreed to that at the beginning, and then the more we thought about it, because of the attitude that you've been giving us, 
and the way you have been treating us, we felt that it was better for you to go ahead and do this on your own because you weren't satisfied with the way that we were handling other things. So we felt with that conflict, you would be better off handling it. If it's a case that we have to have the grievance panel, we definitely will get that grievance panel made up and we'll get it done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I just want to say that a Catholic priest that belongs in the same town as here was unacceptable to me. I'm going to let it go. Well, you see, that's, that's the problem I have with you, Pamela. We're supposed to create a committee, right? A grievance committee. You suggest Judy Blancher without even asking us. We tried to contact her. She really didn't want to get involved. I contact somebody at St. Gabriel, who's a priest, and I had an appointment with him at 12. You telling me, no, you cannot. So you put in your two cents. You should have ran for officer, and I think you might have had three votes out of these tenants. John, this oh, is I know. That's a, that's a problem with him. She you just finished you. telling you. We're going to get a grievance panel, but I don't want your two cents. You cannot tell me or us how to do it. You cannot tell us, take this guy. No, you can't take a priest. Who are you? You're not a, you're not a member of, you're not sitting on the board. You're not the secretary, treasurer, vice president, or president. We try to work with you, and you turn us down. We try to have a meeting with you. Fine, forget you. I'm going to do it up on my own. Well, that's, that's what you asked for, and we're all witness. We have the emails to prove it. You know, we, we have all the proof. I'm not an officer, but, but then I you're have missing rights. something. Yes, you're you missing do. something. I have rights here. No, you okay. cannot tell us who to be on the grievance. Just a moment. You yes. cannot tell us that. Right now, very good. Yes, Miss uh, Rena. That's it. That is it. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. That's it. We have to, as I understand it, there are going to be three members to this panel. Yes, yes. two alternatives. And two alternatives. Yes, okay. Yes. We already so have powers. Yes. She has heard. No. This is what my attorney is I'm sorry, she, she cannot have her? My attorney is telling me. And Attorneys and dollars don't make those we have decisions. To have our, we have to have our family member. Okay. We do that. Some places, yeah. when there is no association, mm -hmm. have okay. a one member of the Freeman's panel. Right. Okay. So okay. Okay. All along, okay. because of no association. And then I was told that because we were getting free, uh, an association, that we have one, they have to have one. Who's they? The association. The association. Right. Okay. And then it's an alternate. This is how I went. I think I even passed out stuff to you that said yes. 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 grievance yes. panel. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, we have that if you need to pay, if you yes. want to look yes. at the page. So, so, so right. you would have a member, Yes. we would have a member, and there would be a third sure. member. That both of us will agree on. That both of us will agree on. She can't just go out and find somebody that she wants and say, this is my side of the story. Yes. And, and this is what I want. I'm sorry, you know, but if somebody gets hit with the truth, they don't like who I'm doing. I deal with this all the time. I know. Okay. We do it's, have a couple of just, people you know, that okay. we were in the process and of talking to that asked us to wait so, until after the holiday. So it seems mm -hmm. to okay. me, right. if you have a person and we have a person, the only thing that's outstanding here is that we have to find a third person that we both can agree on. Exactly. And I don't think that's going to be that bad. No, no, probably not. I really don't think it's going to okay. be that bad. So why don't we... We work yeah. on that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's next get month that meeting done. Will, next month uh, meeting will, will be right. 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 If we can right. get, if the people get back to us um, sooner, we can just call Betty and let Absolutely. them know. Absolutely. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, email Millie and Betty and let exactly. them know. Exactly. 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 Okay. Yeah. With that being said, no, I got something to say. Make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Wait, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What? She had suggested. Judy Blanchard. She did not say to be on the board. She was trying to get. But Judy Blanchard right. was not interested. She told okay. Why? If she's not interested, well, you didn't give her a chance to finish. Well, she said she, she, said she, she was not interested. Nice. She said yes, she left because of all. No, I'm no. sorry. No, no, I can't disagree, Karen. She said that she had talked not to Judy Blanchard, Blanchard, and Judy Blanchard, Blanchard was not interested. Okay. She yeah. did say but that. She suggested. Her to be it, but it turned out that I don't know why everybody was yelling because it was only a suggestion. That isn't what she said. But she no, didn't no, what that she said. No, she she didn't, I, wasn't allowed to go back and maybe say it was her suggestion. Well, it's, it's a moot point, anyway. Yes. 
because yes. it's really the board that has to right. have I a know. member, and we have to have a member, and a third party has to. Okay. That's, okay. okay? Yeah. That's where we stand. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yes. Can we forward to another question? Um, my question is, why is it that they tell the elderly people that, I just tell them, I can go down to wherever they have ice and bring it up here myself. Ice. Now, ice. I asked Dean oh, one time. Oh, ice melt. Ice melt. Ice melt. Do they have you mean the ice melt? And they have it in the back of the buildings in the front and here. But there's nothing over here or in the back, to my knowledge. Okay, we, we were going to make a suggestion. I don't understand why they told me when I called, oh, you can come and get it any time you want. But that's not the first Who did you call? I think the highway department and Upton or whoever. Oh, and I oh she wants the own. Yeah. But I didn't want my own. I wanted something to be put in between every other pile. Oh, so we well, wouldn't have to worry about stepping out like I did this morning. We had we we this morning. We had a suggestion. I get the bill for me. They told me at the different time. Who um, was going in the shed. Because those are contained, contained, contained buildings. That yeah. get a lot of copy can or a thing. Yeah. Yeah. We've got yeah. two conversations yeah. going on here. Handicap, the wheelchair. This is the question. Someone's got a handicap and have a walker or a wheelchair cannot go down and get their own. I always thought that was provided by the housing authority itself, that they would get people to stand and put it. Because I know where I used to live. This is where I used to live, not to say it's any better. Yeah. But we had um, a Benjamin Moore bucket like this every other apartment. Yeah, so and she did it yourself. Okay, yeah. And we just every, and we like, yeah, that was a storm, you know? Why don't you look into that? Yeah. 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 Excuse me, excuse me. We were going to make a suggestion. But with all the chaos, we were going to decide to put it off, but I'll bring it up right now. We thought that those people in the C&D buildings that don't have the buckets and the containers that we have, because they can put them in the hallway and they're in contained buildings, that if they get a coffee can or a gallon of big tubs, whatever, and come down and meet with Dean and say, Dean, sure, can, you yeah. can you get better for yeah. me? Then they all have to see, but see, I don't see an issue with that. No, I'm not. I, when I was up back, I, I went and got my own yes. former bucket. Right yeah. Yeah. All, and I put it right by me. And so the two bodies could share. The damage to me was not being on the floor. Okay, well, I think we've had, we have a lot to digest. So let's just close the meeting for the night and say good night. and. So, somebody want to make a motion, we close the meeting, please. So moved. Okay. I make a motion. Okay. The motion can be made and second we close the meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.